today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy Summer Collection. This is... <laughs> um, this is everything that comes inside. So beautiful. I'm so excited. When I first saw this on Wet n Wild's Instagram page, I knew I had to have it um, because one, the collection's beautiful, two, I love Wet n Wild, three, they are donating a portion of the money they make to a hummingbird um, facility to like help them out and so I, I wanted to support this cause because I truly believe in helping others so and I also really love animals so I am so excited I um, watched a couple videos on this collection but I am super excited to try it out for myself and see what works and what doesn't and without further ado so, looks like we have a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray, and it says limited edition. I wish Wet n Wild would... Oh, this whole collection is limited edition. Oh, that's so sad. Wet n Wild, why'd you have to do that? Don't make this limited edition. See how the spray is. Okay, that's not too bad. The primer spray. That's what I'm gonna do. Kind of reminds me of how the Milani spray comes out. Kind of like the water comes out sideways. Kind of. Not the worst setting spray, but not the best either. But if you think about the price, it's not bad. Okay, so now um, I'm going to move on to the eyes and we have three, looks like three eyeshadow palettes. We have this one in a Hustle La Costa Baby, which is the one that I'm going to be using today. Um, then there's Block Party, what that one looks like. And then we have Stop Ruffling My Feathers. <laughs> That's what that one looks like. Oh, these names are so cute! And so, um, I am gonna double, uh, double into the transition shades in each of them because this one's. <laughs> The, this one says crease color, but it's more of a shimmer, so um, I want to use matte color, so gripe with these little mini palettes is that I, I wish the like crease shades weren't shimmer, I wish they were matte. Like this would be such a beautiful like matte color, and that goes for all three of them. It's okay because they all have like transition colors that are matte, so that's that was good. For concealer, I'm actually gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Photo Focus Concealer. Um, I'm in the shade Light Ivory. This isn't new, but um, I wanted to use it because it is a good concealer. Take my BH Cosmetics number 6 brush and see if I don't know. 
this is such a good container. Okay, and then I'm gonna use And before I get into this any further, no, the video is not sponsored. White and Wild has no idea who I am. <laughs> um, I just, I really like White and Wild. So I'm using their products because I like them. And this is, uh, so I'm going to use the White and Wild pressed powder in the shade Warm Light to set the concealer. Using the same brush. Okay, so... Now, I'm gonna go into the Hustle of Pasta Baby trio, and I'm gonna use the transition shade here as a crease color. And I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild number P20 brush, dip into the transition color, and then start working that into the crease. really nice. Then to deepen that up a little bit on the outer corner, I'm going to go into Stop Ruffling My Feathers and use that transition color using the same B20 brush and start doing the outer corner work. Those are really nice colors. Like there's, it's really, it's really good. Can you go back into the first transition color we used? Okay, so now for the eyelid, I'm gonna take the eyelid color. I'm gonna use that on my Color pop flat shader brush and just put it on that. That's, that's really nice. And remember, less is more, so you can always build it up and also it helps you avoid mistakes. And mistakes are more minimal. But I would say that's that's really good. A little bit of fallout, but that's why I do my eyes first. And it's really not that much. It's really not that bad. Really good. And then for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the brown bone, brown bone shade. I'm going to use that on my BH Cosmetics number 10. Oh, wow. That is. That is nice. I'm gonna take my handy dandy um, makeup removing cloth. This is the one by, this is from e.l.f. I'm really enjoying these. So I'm just cleaning up any fallout. And like I said, there's not very much, so. And then for eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Metallic Liquid Eyeliner in Glided Wings Gilded. Gilded Wings. That's such a cute thing. Aww. And I'm gonna do a wing. That's really good. And I don't see. I don't see like any skippiness. 
like it just looks really nice and okay and it looks really smooth. So far, everything is working really well, except I would say the only product I'm not like too like keen on. I mean, it's not bad. Um, it's the One Wild Primer Water Spray. The spray itself could be better. And then now for mascara, I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I'm gonna do that off camera, and I'll be right back. So I'm back, and the lashes are on. This is how the look is looking right now. Feeling really good. I like everything so far, besides the water spray or primer spray. Um, and so. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to start off with the transition shade. Um, with the two transition shades, I use the one from Hustle, Hustle, Hustle La Costa Baby and the Stop Ruffling My Feathers. And I'm going to put that, put those two on the bottom lash line and then I'm going to use this shade as well. A real type no, Veramona shader brush, I think. And just start doing the lower flashlight. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the crease shade. Tack off the little bit of the access and I'm gonna run this. Really pretty. And so now that is almost the almost, almost the completed look. Um, I'm gonna coat the bottom lashes with mascara, and I will be back. Now that that's. Done, that is the completed eye look. Really pretty, I really like it. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild uh, foundation in the shade Porcelain since we used that primer spray. My finger place that on, and then to buff that out, I'm gonna use my Sigma Flakabuki F80. Blend it out. Foundation and that, and I love this brush. <laughs> I finally got it in the set with uh, the collaboration with the Tayla, so I'm really happy with it. The foundation is looking. 
very light and natural, which is like kind of fine for me because it is summer, so it is quite hot. So I don't want anything like that's too heavy. And so um, what I'm gonna do now is just add a little bit of more. Primer spray did help. It felt tacky. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the same concealer I used to prime my lids. And to blend, got it in. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques sculpting brush, one of my favorites to blend concealer out. Okay, so next I'm gonna use the same powder that I used to set my lids, so Wet n Wild. Powder. I'm going to use that to set my face as well, and I'm going to take my e.l.f. powder brush to do so. Alright, so for Physicians Formula Butter Bonder. DH Cosmetics number four brush. Starting about the the lighting, it's starting to get really gloomy outside, unfortunately. I blush. I'm super excited. Um, they came out with these um, baked these baked blushes right here and they come with don't flutter yourself hummingbird hype and dare to soar oh that's super cute i think i'm gonna use a shade what color is use? the shade uh called don't flutter yourself okay so i'm gonna take this My Wet n Wild P70. And I'm just gonna look how cute it is. Just gonna do a few strokes, tap off the excess, and wow. That's really nice. And these also give a really nice. So it's like you kind of have like your highlight and blush in one, which is really awesome. Just blend that out. So far, so good. I really like a lot of the products I'm trying. I like this. I like it a lot. I think it's really pretty. And I like how it's um, giving you the blush color and also highlight that looks really good. Okay, so now the collection comes with a oh, limited edition, <laughs> it's called Picker Up um, Lip Scrub. So I can try. Oh my gosh, that smells like watermelon candy. Uh huh. It's, this is their lip their lip scrub. Wash it off. 
favorite. I feel like it gave my lips a little bit of a color. <laughs> and my lips don't feel dry, and it feels like they're plumped up a little. It really did clean off my, my lips really well. They look really smooth. They look really good. Okay, so the collection came with four lip glosses. Oops. And I think I'm going to go in with the nude. This one right here. And this is in the color Feather Lips. Oh, that's cute. And the other shades are called, one called Fly Gal. Just a really pretty orange. It's called Pout of Paradise. That's cute. And then the other one is called Shut the pluck up. <laughs> That's cute. And then the um, the green liner is called Winged It Wind. That's cute. So I'm going to go in with the color called Featherless. really nice. It has a really nice dofa applicator. It spreads out everything really nicely. It has a really nice pigment too. And so that completes everything in this video. I Final thoughts on everything is that I really like everything. Um, the only complaint I have is that I wish the spray was uh, uh, sprayed better. But other than that, this collection is beautiful. And I highly recommend you go and get your hands on it. And you're going to be donating your money's going to go towards a really good cause and so highly highly recommend doing that and i hope you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up if you found it helpful or just enjoyed it and have fun um and i hope you guys have a lovely day or, not, day or night wherever you are and i'll see you guys 